How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat, and in today's lesson we'll be looking at spotting patterns in the form of completing a grid. This lesson will set you up for another topic that I'll be going through with you all later on in the course, called matrices. So let's take a look at our first question and what it's asking us to do. It says, in the larger square on the left, one of the small squares has been left empty. Find the figure on the right that completes the empty square and circle the correct letter. OK, before tackling the question itself, let's take a look at the approach and what we need to look for in the question. The first step is to look for any differences in the figures on the left and right. With this question type, you'll be given figures on both the left and right, and your job is then to identify the pattern and find the missing figure. Finally, the best way to double check your answer if you are unsure is to apply what is called spans and make sure that you go down each letter, which is shape, position, angle, number, size and shadings to double check if you have taken a look at all of the possibilities. Going back to the question, what we need to do is find this blank grid. If you remember, I said to look for differences in the left and right grids and immediately the first pattern I can spot is that the shape gets filled in with the colour black. Since we need to repeat the same to the bottom, if the circle is following the same pattern, which is being filled in black, then the empty grid here needs to have a black circle. Just look at the selection of answers, it can only be E. The reason being is because the shape stays the same. This diamond shape still remains the same even though it's being filled in. Therefore, the circle will still remain a circle. The only difference is that it will be filled in black. Moving on to the next question. In the larger square on the left, one of the small squares has been left empty. Find the figure on the right that completes the empty square and circle the correct letter. Starting off, if we take a look at the bottom left and right grids, let's note down what we can see. Looking at it, I can note that the shape stays the same. The reason being is because there's three rectangles in both grids and nothing changes when you look at the actual shape. But by taking the shading part from spans, we can see that the first grid has two rectangles shaded, whereas the next grid only has one rectangle shaded. That is now the pattern that we have identified. Now all we need to do is apply that pattern to the top figure. So once again, the first grid has two shaded circles, therefore meaning the grid on the right will only have one shaded circle. It can't be A, since that has two shaded circles, and B has three, so those two can be eliminated. This leaves us with C as the correct answer since it's the only grid with one shaded circle. Question three. Once again, the question says, in the larger square on the left, one of the small squares has been left empty. Find the figure on the right that completes the empty square and circle the correct letter. This one requires a bit more thinking as it combines rotation and also shading. The key is to always remember to pay close attention to the shading when it comes to non-verbal reasoning, since it's one of the main ways you could get caught out. If we start looking at what we can see on the top two figures, the first thing I'd note down is that the figure on the left has an arrow pointing upwards that is shaded in. The figure on the right is rotated 180 degrees and has no shading. That's the pattern right there. The figure rotates 180 degrees and the shading is removed. If we apply that to the bottom left, what we need to look for is the figure being rotated 180 degrees and then also remembering that the shading gets removed as well. It can't be A, since the figure has not been rotated 180 degrees. However, looking at B, that is the correct answer, since I can tell it's been rotated and no longer has any shading. Now have a go at answering this next question. Pause the video and I'll reveal the answer in a few seconds. OK, so the answer is C. This was a tricky one, since you had to watch out for not only the rotation part, but also shading. If you take a look at the top two figures, the pattern is that the figures rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise and the shading moves from these two outer squares and into the middle. If you then apply that to the bottom figure, you'll find that the answer is C. So firstly, rotate it 90 degrees anti-clockwise and then make sure only the middle shape is shaded in. That's it for today's lesson on completing the grid and spotting patterns. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this and I'll talk to you in the next one.